welcome back to a long-awaited braces update. I know I've been gone for about six months now since the last time I basically said I got braces put on. So it's been a hot minute and a lot has happened. So let me go ahead and walk you guys through everything that's gone on these past six months. Before I jump on into the video, I want to make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button as well as that like button if you guys want me to keep posting my braces experiences and updates on here for you guys to view. I know when I was thinking about getting braces, especially as an adult, I was YouTubing, Googling, I was doing so much research on braces before I got them. So it's been around six months since I had my braces put on in March and since then, a lot has happened. So back in March, they went ahead and installed my top brackets as well as the spacers in my back molars. Um, and those spacers are just the little blue rubber bands that are creating space between your molars for what's to come next, which is not pleasant. Let me just put it that way. It was definitely a surprise to me. Please make sure that you're talking to your orthodontist, you're asking questions. That's definitely something where I failed. I did not ask enough questions. So I knew he had mentioned something about an expander, but I didn't really know what it was and how much it was actually going to affect my daily life. So if you guys are curious on expanders, then just keep watching the video because I do have a lot to say, okay? A lot. I had my expander installed in June, so three months after I had originally gotten my top brackets and I also got my lower brackets that day as well. So I went in to this appointment not really knowing what was going to happen, what are they going to do. Of course I was excited, I wanted to see more change in the way my teeth were shifting. Um, so that's when they told me that they were going to go ahead and install the expander. So installing the expander was very uncomfortable. Um, it took a long time. I believe that appointment was about two hours for the whole expander um, being put in place as well as the lower bracket. So I was there for about two, maybe two and a half hours that day. It was a very long appointment, so please make sure you do eat before and please take some Tylenol. Any type of pain medication is recommended before you head into your appointments because you are going to be in a lot of pain whether a few hours from the appointment or even the next day to several weeks. So basically what they did to put on my expander was they removed my spacers, the blue rubber bands in the back of my molars and how can I put this? So basically what the expander is going to be is a metal bar across the roof of your mouth that is attached to your molars. So, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it there, um, but this was something that gave me a huge, huge insecurity. As you can tell right there, I do have a lisp, and this lisp has not gone away the entire time I've had these. Uh, so it's September now, um, so it's been, let's see, June, July, August, September three months since I had it installed and I still haven't perfected my speech and I don't think that I will. I am going to say that the first few weeks, even first month, was really, really hard for me. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to talk on the phone. Um, just speaking in general gave me really bad anxiety because I didn't know what people were going to say about my voice. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Who cares what other people think you're doing this for you? There is other options other than this expander, which is going to be removing some of your teeth. So some orthodontics do opt out for the expander and go ahead and remove some of, I believe, two to four of your teeth. But with doing that, um, the dental assistant that was there, she was telling me that it can actually delay the process of getting your braces taken off. So it's kind of like a win-lose situation. Yes, I have to struggle with this expander. Hopefully for another few weeks, but I don't have to have those teeth removed and I don't have to have those giant gaps for months and months at a time until they finally close up. So it really is a kind of pick your battle kind of moment. So just be very careful. Make sure you're asking your orthodontist a lot of questions and see what route he is taking and which route you prefer, okay? That is something that I did not do and I really wish I had. I wish I would have done a lot more research on these expanders before actually getting it installed on my body. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of ways you can manage your pain with braces as well as with your expander. Like I said, it is very, very uncomfortable and it is very uncomfortable to sleep. So for the expander, um, 
basically what I did is I took a few drops of CBD oil if you guys are not familiar with CBD oil it is an amazing 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 product I got mine from my local dispensary so this product does not contain THC so it's not going to give you that mental high it's going to give you more of a relaxed I can finally sleep kind of feeling which with braces you're definitely going to want I had a very hard time sleeping um, the first week that I got my expander on it's just it's a different feeling it's very uncomfortable it's you know if you have a piece of metal in your mouth your body is going to react very strangely to it until it adapts to having it in there uh, so not only do you have a lisp you're not having trouble eating and now you're having trouble sleeping so definitely the CBD oil did help me a ton um, and then for foods, you're definitely going to want to stick to soft foods. So things such as mashed potatoes, I had sushi, I had, let's see, jello, ice cream, refried beans. I'm trying to think, I'm getting hungry. Um, you know, just anything soft, chicken noodle soup, broth, all those things that are just soft, easy to eat, um, you're definitely going to want to stick to that. For sure, for sure, you're going to want to steer away from any meats. Um, any crunchy crackers, candy, any of that is just going to be a bad situation, okay? With that being said, I want to go into what this expander is actually doing for me and my braces process. So, the expander is basically widening up my jaw to perfect my bite. Um, so, how to do this is basically you're going to have to get your little key. Your orthodontist will provide a little key. And it's definitely a lot easier if you have someone else in your house turn your expander because it is difficult to do it on your own so if you do have someone that's there to help you awesome great if not I am so sorry it's definitely going to be a struggle but I'm sure you can figure it out um, with having a handheld mirror um, in your hand definitely you don't want a straightforward mirror you're going to want a handheld mirror um, so for us what I did I had my husband help me out and I would just sit on the rim of the bathtub and completely put my head all the way back. He would stick the key into that little hole and then just turn it once. Everyone is going to be different on how many turns they have to do, whether it's once a day, once a week, twice a week. Everyone is going to be different because everyone has a different situation going on. Um, so don't expect your expander experience to be the exact same as mine. So for me, all I had to do was turn my expander once a week for 12 weeks. Um, and I usually did that on a Friday night. Um, and if you do forget to do a turn, please, please, please make sure to do it the next day or as soon as you can. You do not want to miss a turn because then you are now just delaying your braces process. And the faster that you can get your jaw perfected, the faster you can get this thing out of your mouth. And trust me, you're going to want it out ASAP because, you know, I do. Also, something that I did to help with my lisp um, and my insecurities of having really bad speech. And, you know, I do stumble over my words sometimes if I'm talking really fast. I do stutter. I do tend, you know, to just speak a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, but it has improved a ton since I first got it on on that day. I'll try and see if I can find a video of me speaking that first week because I did try to film... Um, a video that day on my braces and it just was not working out so I'll see if I can find that clip if I do I'll go ahead and insert it here somewhere on the screen um, but yeah it was it was definitely a difficult process so what you can do to help that is sing your favorite song in the car you know talk to yourself there's just a ton of different things you can do but basically you just have to practice speaking and that's the only way that you're going to overcome this insecurity like I did so, you know, sing in the car while you're by yourself, you know, you're driving to work, driving to school, just put on your favorite song and, you know, just jam out like you normally would. You're going to get a little bit frustrated because I know I did, um, stumbling over words and not being able to pronounce words. You know, you're not going to sound the same as you did before. Um, although my husband and my family say they don't really notice much of a difference, you know, you hear yourself. You you can notice that difference. Overall, I have seen a dramatic change in my teeth and how confident I am. If you follow me on my social medias, you have seen recently that I'm now even posting selfies with me smiling with my teeth, which I have never done before. Even though I still have the braces on, they are getting a lot straighter and perfect. So... You know, every now and then I'll pop in with a little bit of a smile 
And you know what? This feels good. It feels really good uh, to be able to smile with my teeth and not be like, oh my gosh, all they're looking at is my crooked teeth. Although, although, let me say that this tooth here has been stubborn, the one with the spring on it. It has yet to have had a bracket put on, so I'm hoping my next appointment here in about two weeks I will install a bracket on this one. Um, that's like, like I said in my previous video, one of my biggest insecurities is that tooth that's just all the way back. Um, so as soon as we get a bracket on that, I'm sure it'll pop up very quickly like this one over here did. Definitely let me know if you guys are going to want a more in-depth tutorial on my expander. Um, just leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to know and I'll definitely reach out back to you guys. I have had these on for about three months now so I do kind of know some tips and tricks that I can definitely share with you guys because it has been a pain and I know what it's like to have you know this expander on and it's, it's a journey. So just let me know any questions or concerns you guys have down below in the comments. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!